I just got this game installed, um, Prince of Persia 2008. Now this game is sick. If you watch the trailer, it looks fucking tight. Okay. The way um, I install this is I use Wine, of course, because Wine has to do everything with the uh, Windows shit, right? Now you also need this uh, front end to Wine play on Linux. Now play on Linux uh, uses scripts to uh, install either softwares or uh, games and these scripts will make your life easier because the scripts does every configurations for you so basically all you gotta do is um, like you would do in Windows click next or you know I agree to this bullshit and that bullshit that's basically all you gotta do you don't really have to configure anything now when you click on install here they give you a, a list of stuff you can install so it's limited to what it has on here right let's say um, you know, you people still need Microsoft Office or something some people still need iTunes and it has some other shit but the games is where is that okay now they have a list of games here right and see this is my game so now they're gonna give you a, a brief info on the game and a little icon or something and they give you like a, a rating I think this rating is based on the script okay not on the game itself but on the script so so when you click apply it's gonna you know do the same shit that it does on Windows however um, the first thing they're probably gonna tell you to do is uh, install Windows fonts and all you gotta do is click uh, next to install it and also DirectX 9 because you need that to run games and that's an easy process too, it's the same thing, just click next and after that you install the game and basically the same shit, and click next and um, that's why the scripts are there, it, it does all the shits for you and that's why I dig it and I got it to work, you know, before it, um, it wasn't that great you know now they have a list of games here but keep in mind this these scripts are not perfect so you're either lucky or you're not okay and um, some of them are really shitty you know you get the wrong script or that thing's not perfect they your, your game's not gonna run okay or your software is not gonna run so that's just keep that in mind trial and error okay now <clears throat> This is perfect uh, if you, you, your games work. If it, if it does, your games doesn't have any scripts, uh, you might have to try um, this thing in here. What is it? Run non-official scripts. Now the non-official scripts you can probably get some in the the forums. Okay, so you can give that a try if your software or your game is not in there and go go look in the forums and ask them you know where I get this or search Google or something then someone might have it and that's basically uh, this game now before this this program does not have a, uh, a a mounting drive or something they only ask you for CDs only right or your disc your physical disc and that's stupid because nowadays nobody wants to put you know put their disc in the fucking CD because that's that's a waste of time most of us have uh, ISO image on our computer, right? Now, if you want to do that, um, you could now because they they updated their software. Um, you you would need a um, Ace Tone ISO two, okay? And then you mount your shit, right? Now, if you don't know this program, just watch my other video, and you get it. Now, with Ace Tone, um, all you gotta do is um, when they ask you where is the fucking game is at or where's the software at you're gonna point it to your um, Ace Tone uh, virtual drive or if you have a CD-ROM just point it to the CD-ROM that's all you gotta do if you wanna do uh, those steps okay so yeah um, I dig this program now because it actually works for me now before I didn't recommend it cause I didn't get shit to work okay so yeah go check it out uh, I support them now